dropping Delta 13, Delta 30. Can you drop in, please, sir? We pop Alpha 53, 54, and 55, please, sir. 53, 54, and 55. They should be in the, the back row, sir. Uh, Lane one. All right, so I've got the, everything but the movers he's tested so far. Missouri National Guard recently received three AH-64D Apache Longbow attack helicopters. Major Finn Carey, instructor pilot supervisor, says the Missouri National Guard worked hard to get the new Apache Longbows. Three or four years ago, we probably thought we'd never see this day. You know, we didn't think the Longbows were coming. It was, it was a long shot, and uh, it was very exciting to finally make it happen and finally uh, have them arrive on our soil. The Apache Longbows are the latest in attack helicopter technology. Colonel Mark McLemore. Missouri State Aviation Officer says the new aircraft will add strength to the Missouri National Guard. These are totally digital systems and uh, it's, it's bringing us into the modern age and technology and, and it brings relevancy for the Missouri National Guard uh, in the aviation role and uh, we have a new modern piece of equipment to, uh, to train and, and be prepared to you know, go into the fight. The Missouri National Guard expects to receive 24 Apache Longbow helicopters in the next six months. Reporting for the Missouri National Guard Public Affairs Office, I'm Specialist Adam Winters. U.S. Army soldiers from Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 3rd Aviation Regiment, conducts fire control radar maintenance on an AH-64 Delta Apache Longbow helicopter at Kalabach Army Airfield in Ansbach, Bavaria, Germany. The fire control radar provides high performance with very low probability of intercept. The longbow radar rapidly and automatically searches, detects, locates, classifies, and prioritizes multiple moving and stationary targets on land, air, and water in all weather and battlefield conditions to the maximum range of the longbow missile. The AH-64 Delta has become the most advanced aerial fighting vehicle 
in the world. Call armor. Stand by. Hitman 1, notional friendly troops in contact at this time. The Alpha 3 Company. Friendly grid, uniform Bravo 055140. MA1 copies troops in contact 055140. MA1, I'm looking at a, uh, looks like uh, one, the one, off one. airfield. I have contact with the uh, hill. Coming at your target, uh, six vehicles just to the east of that uh, triple mountain. Roger, uh, target is inside, I have vehicles inside. Hitman, Dark Man, we got positive correlation on the armor. Hitman 1, copies all. Big Iron, call commencing engagement. Engagement complete. You are cleared to engage from minute 7 to minute 17. Altitude low. Altitude low. My geometry wasn't good for a rocket. Roger, I got you in sight. And uh, we'll be coming in down here in just a moment. Copy. Sixteen one o'clock high. Visual. Our visual friendly tally target at this time. Okay, copy. And now uh, you got the squared out area to the north of the airfield. Just up against the uh, the high terrain to the north of the main uh, the main airfield. And affirmative for uh, park. There you go. It's running north south tan in color. I used to day TV. Oh, no, that's fine. Use day TV, but you gotta sometimes you gotta step out a little bit. All right, we're at the hundred. The north center. They're kind of black looking outside. They look like man fire. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it again. The Arizona Army National Guard hosted the inaugural Gunfighter Fly-In, a multi-state attack helicopter competition in Marana, Arizona last week. Seven National Guard states sent their best Apache crews and the competition strengthened the National Guard's aerial attack readiness. Now more than ever, we have the ability to use a citizen-soldier construct to meet the nation's defense needs. But we have to do things like this to prove that we're capable and to be maintained at a rate that we're ready to do it. The teams used the competition as a platform to learn from each other and build relationships between states. The biggest bonus is learning from what's been up there and when they're grading those tapes, that's the opportunity to learn and to really take something um, a way uh, to make you all a better aviator. Aviators and crews from South Carolina won the overall competition. For the Arizona National Guard, I'm Sergeant First Class Robert Freeze. Go ahead.